morning everybody it's day four of my little road trip we are gonna go get some gas and then we're gonna head over to deals gap and ride the tail of the dragon now my original plan was to you know head over to deals gap ride the dragon several times and we may still do that. But given how many twisties I rode yesterday on the Cherahalla Skyway and just around here getting back to my hotel, I've had lots of twisties. So we're going to ride the Dragon at least twice. We're going to go to Deals Gap, check it out, see the Tree of Life or whatever they call it where all the parts from crashed motorcycles are hanging there. Then we're going to continue on from the Dragon and ride a road called the Foothills Parkway. It's in Tennessee. It's supposed to be beautiful. It's about 30 miles, so it's not that long. And then we'll come back the parkway the way we came and do the Dragon from the other direction and finish up at Deals Gap again. That's the plan. Just amazing. Wow, look at that. I didn't even see that. Come on, man. There we are. Well guys, we're here at Deals Gap. There's a gift shop up there. Another gift shop over there. But the main attraction here is the Tree of Shame. These are pieces of motorcycles from bikes that didn't quite make it through Tail of the Dragon. See, there's a, a Max Wrist sticker. I don't know if it was one of those guys or just the sticker, but right there. Pretty amusing. They seem to crash everywhere. I think my favorite part of the tree is up top. Where is it? <laughs> it's a big wheel. I don't know if you can see it. It's a big wheel up there. I'll show you from the other side. So I've done my little tourist bit. I've done my shopping. Got a t-shirt, got a hat. <laughs> now I actually have to ride the thing. There's the big wheel. See it up there? That's my favorite. And we will not be seeing any bright red panels there. A lot of sports cars riding around here. All right, let's get set up and go. All right, it's just riding. This is it, high crash area, next 11 miles. Oof. 30 miles an hour. <laughs> I took that first one at 20. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. 
a uh, big curve. I hit the brakes there. Not whipping through here like a sport bike, that's for sure. That is a steep bank. Not my finest work. Little bit of break there. Oh, cross the double yellow, that's not good. Lay on some break here. Oh, that's not the place for a pothole, man. Dip. What does that mean? Oh. Fifteen mile an hour. Like I can wave to you going around a 15 mile an hour curve, bro. Little Polaris buggy. We've only gone like four miles. <laughs> an RV down here, that's what I want to know. He's the real badass. I mean, you really ha are making a U-turn there, and I can't, I just can't turn my neck that far. And remember, we're trying not to drag anything. I don't want to scratch up my beautiful red bike. If 
5.4 miles. These turns are hard, guys. It's like, I feel like I've been doing this for 45 minutes already. It's been like five. <laughs> That's a lot. This makes any twisty road in the DMV look like a joke. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. oh. I didn't quite enter that with enough torque. Could have been at first for crying out loud. Uh, gripping the throttle so tight, my hand is asleep like I'm a rookie. Oh. Was I speeding? <laughs> I don't I don't think there's much of a chance of me getting a speeding ticket here, guys. <laughs> hey guys, we're on Tail the Dragon! <laughs> That's so funny. And amazing views, but that's irrelevant right now. 2.6 miles to go. You gotta flow like water with your bike on these curves. Can't be stiff. Well guys, I'm gonna put up what I think are the coolest looking shots of Tail the Dragon. But those of you watching my videos, those of you subscribing, by all means, let me know if you wanna see the whole unedited clip. Just remember, I'm an older man. Not old, not old, but older. So we take our time doing things like 311 curves in 11 miles. Oh, not good. Ah. Less than a mile to go. So we're going to go do this parkway. And then we're going to do the drag in the other direction on the way back. That is what I have decided. That's it. Let's cross this bridge, see what's over here. Everything here is just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Challenger, baby, you did just fine. It's the bright red, obviously makes all the difference in the world. All right, so it's pretty scary on some of those turns that are like, they're like this. It's like doing a U-turn. It just lets you out straight right at the end. And I had a lot of trouble with those. I mean, if I can't do a, a tight U-turn in a flat parking lot, I don't have much better chance to do it on Tail the Dragon. 
but we made it through. There's there was some sloppy, sloppy corners, but you know that's what the brakes are for. It was a lot of fun. I would totally recommend to every single one of you, if you have a chance to get down here and ride the dragon, do it. Just to say you did it, man. It doesn't matter how fast you go. Just do it and have an awesome time. It's all that freaking matters. All right. Now we're on the Foothills Parkway. Let's see what it is. Looks like it's kind of twisty, like everything else in this area. <laughs> Honestly, there are very few straight roads around here, guys. One thing guys, for me, this trip is about the roads, it's not about the scenery. So yeah, I mean I've stopped at some of these overlooks and taken a look. But the, you know, riding the roads is what I care about. That's the scenery for me. So don't be disappointed that there haven't been a lot of those. So far it's a nice ride it's just you know there there are fewer gaps in the trees to look out over the valley like on the, the Cherahala Skyway so you know nice road much much more gentle road than the Skyway that road is super twisty super super twisty Alright guys, we are at the tail end of the Foothills Parkway and I want to get back to the Dragon and run that again um, before it's, you know, too late because I don't want to be riding around the mountains in pitch black. Did that once and now that I've seen where I rode in bright daylight, <laughs> yeah, don't want to do that again if I can avoid it. All right, here we go. Not good at all. Ugh. This is already a terrible run compared to the first one. The first one was pretty slow.
horrible, awful. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing. When I put up my full run, if you guys want it, you're not seeing this one. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, I hope nobody got hurt. Look at that. Look at that dip. Oh, I didn't cross the yellow. <laughs> That's all I care about. I didn't scratch my pipes. I didn't cross the yellow line. trike stuck in a tree and I'm sure whoever was riding it went right over the handlebars. Terrible. spots where there are potholes that it's like boggles my mind that there would be any potholes on this road. was the return trip on Tale of the Dragon. This camera says I've got about 29 minutes and 30 seconds. There's a little bit at, when I first started recording of getting to the, ro the route. So it took me quite a while to get through that 11 miles. I think generally speaking I was doing like 30 miles an hour, popping it into second gear almost the whole time. 
it's a really hard ride for me. Uh, it's hard to get my neck around, my head around to make those, you know, U-turn turns. Uh, but it's still a lot of fun. And all I can tell you guys is if you have a chance to get down here and ride it, you got to do it. Do yourself that. All right, guys, I'm home. It's a fun day. It was a long day. If you like this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride-related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell, and you'll be sure to get an alert the next time my video is out. And until tomorrow when we do Moonshiner 28, stay safe out there.